Where the Atlantic meets our coastline On a rugged western shore You can always find a welcome In Newfoundland and Labrador Where the Beothic and the Mi'kmaq roam And the famous Badger Drive We sing around the campfire As we keep our dreams alive The majestic moose in abundance In the stands of spruce and fir Crossing streams and rivers Causing wild dogs to stir And the beauty of those valleys Where the lakes and ponds do lie And the setting of the summer sun And the reddened evening sky So come on hospitality waiting for the uh, Department of National Defense to show up to give everybody a hand here in Newfoundland over Hurricane Igor that has uh, since hit us on Tuesday. Uh, down around Bonavista, Clarenville, Buren Peninsula and such, they've, uh, they need much needed help and they've since called in the Department of National Defense to help with the Hi, cleanup. Hi, my name is Len Edison. I retired from the Canadian Military Engineers. Uh, last year. I'm here now to meet the, the guys coming on the island. I uh, just got called in for the uh, hurricane disaster and uh, just to see him welcome him onto the island.
Perfect. soldiers from CFB Gagetown. They brought with them bridges, medical personnel, and a lot of engineers. I told my soldiers that we could be here for a matter of a few days, or we could be here for a matter of a couple weeks. In St. John's Harbor, too, one of three Navy ships called in to help, along with Sea King helicopters, all here to assist with communities still cut off after the hurricane five days ago. The arrival coming as steady progress continues to be made on many roads. She's coming back in shape slowly. It's, it's taking a lot of work. It's about a time. And in the coastal town of Sunnyside, they may even lift a local state of emergency after the power came back on yesterday. And even though the only road to a third of the town is still washed out, they've created a way around, though it's hardly ideal. It's mostly an emergency measure uh, road, and we're asking people in the community to only go on it if they have to. Still, some places remain isolated with bridges gone, and it's hoped the military might be able to provide them clean water and speed up the process of reconnecting them to the rest of the province. As for these soldiers, they are anxious to get to work, but they may not begin replacing bridges until tomorrow morning. On Rand
Random Island, meanwhile, the body of 80-year-old Alan Duffett has been found. He'd been swept out to sea when the road under his feet gave way. Roads that are only now just beginning to reopen. John Benavelli Rouse, CTV News, Argentia.